Welcome back to the channel folks. In this video we're going to be detailing some of the new features that have been released on Kalimoto. So if that's your thing, stick around and find out some more. Down in the dirt. Welcome back to the channel folks. Yes, this is a sponsored video by Kalimoto. They are one of my channel sponsors, but if you follow the channel you'll know that I've been using this app well before they came on board as a sponsor. It's a cracking app for finding great roads round about you or along a specific route and they've released some new features for the app right here on your phone which I'll detail now. So they've been available over on the website at calimoto.com for a while now but now they're available right there on your phone in the app. So what are they? If we come along on the website, if you go to Trip Planner route, I've chucked in a route here from Rikers Cath to Land's End. And what we can do along this route is if we come down to uh, map settings down in the bottom here, the layers, if you click that, there's some new layers that have been added. You've got your default one, which is this sort of map overlay. There's one called Terrain which changes it and you can see sort of the hills and the valleys and the forests and everything like that. Again, very similar to Google Maps and other mapping software. Satellite view is exactly that. It's just a satellite view to give you a really good picture of what's going on. But this is the key one I find for bikers, weather forecast. So you bring in weather forecast and you can see down here, there's a little time, del time delay and it jumps forward every three hours for a 24 hour period going from now. And you can pause that if you want. And it basically just shows you the projected weather forecast that's coming in and you can see how that will affect you on your route. It is cracking, really good for plotting your routes. So you can let that carry on playing if we want and see how that's gonna develop throughout the next 24 hours. The next thing that it's got available is uh, some new search functions, one of which is called tourist attraction. So if we click that, you see there, now it highlights all these different tourist attractions that it has on the map. So we can see that coming along our little route here, along this red uh, route, there's one right there. And oh look, that's Stonehenge. So we can see where that is. And as you zoom in, it will unlock some other tourist attractions along the way. So what I find is specifically on the app, which I'll cover in two seconds, if you zoom right in, and then scroll along your route, you can see a lot more of what's going on. So right near, I mean, obviously we have Stonehenge there. It gives you a little description as to what's going on, email addresses, telephone numbers, websites, even a Wikipedia link there if you want to do that. And you can set that as a, de a destination or you could create a waypoint or even make that the start point of your route if you wanted. And that will alter the pre-programmed route you've already put in there. So we can see here, there's another tourist point. I've no idea what this one is. Woodhenge, didn't know anything about it. There's a couple of pictures there that I haven't quite loaded yet. But again, we can uh, use the website link there, Woodhenge, and uh, find out a little bit more about what Woodhenge is. So these features have been available on the website for a little bit of time now. However, now they're available right here on our app. So I'll show you what they look like in the app. So open up the app. I can go to this route here, which I've saved from the web version. It automatically syncs straight to the app. Just tap on rides, my rides. There it is, Rikers to Land's End. Put that in, show and map. So again, as you can see on the app itself, oh, oh. up here in the top right, there's a sort of little weather icon here. That's showing you what the weather's like actually right now at your start location. If you tap that, it'll show you, it'll give you a 24 hour weather forecast for your start location. Now, how do you do this for the entire uh, route itself? Top right there, there's a couple of little layer symbols, tap that, gives you the same options that you had on the website. If you click weather forecast, same thing there, you can see for the next 24 hour period, it's giving you an overlay of the weather straight across your route. Click on that top right again, you have the various different uh, map layer settings that we, that we chatted about on the website. You've got your default terrain satellite. There's another one here which says pictures along the route. Now that isn't the same as the tourist attraction type thing. That is just purely if people have taken some pictures and used the, the sort of geocache, the GPS settings on their phones, if that is activated, so when you take a picture, it stores the exact GPS coordinates. Well, if they've uploaded them onto any specific routes that they've tracked in their own accounts they will show up here so you can see there someone's done it near Winchester someone's taking a nice little pick there of, of their bike however how do you get up 
the tourist attractions. Well, top left, search, there it is, in bright orange, tourist attractions. We tap that, and it will now overlay over your route all the nearest tourist attractions along the way. So we can see there's one down here, Salisbury Cathedral. You tap more, some more pictures there that are available, description. Again, contact details and link, exactly the same as what's available on the website itself. It's a really handy little thing to have, actually. When Kalimoto first told me about it, I thought, it's a little bit gimmicky, am I actually going to use that? But I can tell you, yes, I, I have. Let's say I just want to do a round trip, 120 miles, I want to head to southwest for me, click southwest. So it generates a little random route, and I can see there that there's a couple of tourist things right along my route. Well, when I zoom in, as I said before, it unlocks a whole load more tourist attractions. And I found some of them and thought, oh, I didn't know that was there. And this is right near to where I live. I didn't know that was there, so I'll go and have a little look. If it's just a ride where you're heading out on your bike, it unlocks so much more right around you, which maybe you didn't know about. I have found so many cracking roads right around me down here in Kent that I've been riding, you know, for the last five, six years. And I never knew they were there. Great little app. When you look at how much a sat-nav is, couple of hundred quid, and the limitations that the sat-navs have, this is an app which is on your phone. It instantly syncs to the website itself. I plan all my routes on the website now. I can do it on my phone as well if I want, but it's so much easier just to do it on the website and it syncs seamlessly with the app. I do it for all my Spanish tours. Wherever I'm going, I plot it on this. And it is bish bash bosh done. Nice and easy. I used to use Garmin Basecamp. What a nightmare that was. No more smashing my head against the computer and throwing it out the window. Nice and easy. All done. All right, folks, hope you've enjoyed this one. You've got any questions about Kalimoto, fire them over to me on any of the social media links or in the comments of this fade, or just drop me an email, info at teapot1.com. Remember to follow all the links. Remember to grab your merch. I'm going to smash this new bottle of Iron Brew. Any Scots out there, the glass bottles are always best. I'm going to see if this version is as good as the ginger I remember. Anyway, folks, hope you're all well. Keep on doing your thing. Look after those that you love. Get on out there whenever you can. But most importantly, most importantly, live your life. Woo-ha!